Mr. E. Huggins, real one. When and where were you born, Mr. Huggins? I was born on the 5th of July, 1895. I'm seven years old. My family descend on Great Uncle Edgar's bungalow for Sunday lunch. I'm a small child, adults talk, blah, blah, blah. I get bored, not being allowed to leave the table. I amuse myself with a piece of string I have in my pocket. And when I told them how beautiful you are, they didn't believe me. But uh, my idea of them was Australia. That's where I was wanting to go as a boy, young man. I've been used to breaking horses and such as that, you know, and I was horse mad. After a good 15 minutes, great uncle Edgar leans over and quietly says, Well, you wouldn't have got bored in the trenches. What does he mean? And when I tell them, and I'm certainly going to tell them, that I'm a man. Well, I've been used to horses all my life. As I told you, that's what made me want to go to Australia. I want to fancy being out on the ranches, you know. He lifts up his shirt and reveals a huge scar, twisted and folded in on itself. I just stare in horrified wonder. I'm seven. It, uh, of course, the war come and changed life altogether. And when they ask us how dangerous it was Oh, we'll never tell them No, we'll never tell them We spent our pay in some cafe And fought wild women night and day And when we got back to Brigade Headquarters The other side of uh, Apes There was only 200 of us answered roll call I'm one of them at Anthony Roll Call. I, I, I live through it. Ask us the reason why we didn't win the quad again. Oh, we'll never tell them. No, we'll never tell them. There was a front, but damned if we knew. 